OpenBSD configuration for OpenBSD 7.4. Um, I have some notes. Uh, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, I had. Uh, made some changes uh, while you guys weren't there. Uh, I, I listed them out here. Uh, for now, I have uh, I had a problem when um, uh, when I restarted the laptop. Uh, the 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 uh, the screen mirror in uh, in uh, XFCE started to flake out. So I moved that uh, I moved that script uh, into. The X session. Oh, I don't have Vim yet. <coughs> so yeah, now I do also uh, also source uh, the screen mirror script, so it will be correct when uh, start XFCE4 launches. Also, as you can see here, I'm using console kit now to launch uh, start XFCE. This is uh, to to switch to uh, like a sheet based to, to enable the sheet based stuff which uh, is easier for some software and it also works nice with if you have a system-wide debus it will hook into there and stuff will work I added uh, the GNOME keyring in Seahorse so uh, I can look at key entries and also cache keys and cache bash phrases and secrets and stuff like that uh, stuff like uh, Chromium based browsers use that um, also, I found out that uh, HDMI audio in OpenBSD is still not a thing. Well, it's being developed, but it's still not not really working. So yeah, that that it's it's uh, not working. Maybe uh, maybe later. But uh, the reason I'm recording a video today is because there are two patches for OpenBSD 7.4 released today, and uh, since the last time that I did sys uh, sys patch, you didn't see anything. I just wanted to show you what it looks like when it, there are updates. So let's do syspatch. There should be two of them. There you go. And now it's a relinking unique uni kernel. The, the msplit one is a kernel patch. So you need to reboot then. So I'll just uh, reboot. Should we do that as root? Or else it won't work. So here we go. Yeah, that that DRM is it, it's an error, but not really an error. I sometimes see that, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, okay, let me type my passphrase. It's putting. You don't see anything, but. Uh, yeah, maybe I should attach a serial console as well, so you can see the see the boot. But it's doing the CPUs and it's doing all the devices, and now it's okay. Now you should see something. Here you go. Uh, yeah, I also enabled SMT by the way, so I get all the sixteen cores. This is a uh, uh, Alder Lake. Oh hey, that's uh, that's a Dutch train, by the way. Uh, it's an Alder Lake CPU, so uh, it has like performance and efficiency cores. Uh, but I don't think OpenBSD does see, uh, sees the difference. But whatever, I, I've got them all enabled now. And I have to log in. Maybe I will do that X render line in the. X setup as well. And there you go. You should see my desktop. No. Nope. 
Then like this. Now you should see it. Yeah, here we go. Hmm, doesn't work that well. Okay. Uh, so now we have the patch applied. So now if we do this patch, it should be clean. And now let's see if there are updates for the packages. Yeah, you can do like this. There's no updates. Cool. So yeah, this is a short one. Um, yeah. We, oh, let's uh, let, let's see what we can do next later. Uh, so. Um, yeah, I did uh, I enabled uh, uh, Let's see, let's see Oh yeah, oh yeah the OpenVPN stuff uh, Yeah, I'm not really uh, uh, I'm kind of torn because it involves uh, secrets and uh, keys and stuff Which I don't want to show because I want to use this laptop for stuff I want to drive this laptop uh, So yeah, that's kind of kind of important. So, I might go into how to configure it on the system. Maybe that's a, that's a but uh, and don't show the config files. And uh, yeah, other thing I want to do is uh, set up NeoVim and uh, maybe uh, uh, go look at uh, DWM. And if we have DWM, maybe get rid of uh, XFCE. Then I'll show you how to get rid of packages easily or with a shell or whatever. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's coming up. So that's uh, it's it's gonna be a short one. Um, see you later. Bye now.